Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you how to debug ABAP code. I present here some techniques that can make your work and debugging much easier. I have prepared the code here. I select some data, do a loop, set some variables and show the data in a SARF table. So let's go back. The important thing is the column on the left side. This is called the debugging column. So if you click here with your left mouse click, you set a session breakpoint. But there's not only a session breakpoint, there is an external breakpoint as well. And we use this external breakpoint, for example, if you call this code from external, for example, from a Fiori app. And you see this breakpoint uh, is for the user developer and is valid for two hours. So if you want to uh, debug a session of a colleague of yours, you can change this username from your username to the username of your colleague. And if he uses this code, you can debug his session. So we set this breakpoint to a session breakpoint and we uh, run our program and we see the developer is open and we stop here at this code where the breakpoint is set. And here we can check some variables, for example, the internal table. We see there are 94 entries, 14 columns and the memory which is used for this object. And in the debugger, we have some uh, ways to go forward. I use the key F5 to debug line for line or the key F7. If you are in an include, you can you press F7 and you are out on your um, called code on the original code or you press F8 and then the program executes or it goes to the next breakpoint. So now let's set a breakpoint in this loop here. We call the program and I type here the variable suitepix and if then if I press F8 we see the loops. So now the suitepix is 3 and now I want to stop at line 40 and I can press now 40 the key F5 or I can set a condition here. And here I set suitepix is 40. So then I go back to the code and I press F8 and we see that the debugger stops at the 40th loop. So this can save you much time. Next we um, set the breakpoint break again in this loop. Then we run the program again. We go to the tab break and watch points again and set another condition. And now I use my variable in this loop, LVBIC. And now I want to know, or I want that the debugger stops when the variable is set to one. And I want to know in which loop is this done. So now I press F8 and I see here on the 20th loop, the variable is set to one. So I press F8 and next we see on loop 54, the variable is set again to one and between it was uh, zero. Okay, so let's go back. And now I set the breakpoint at the beginning of my program. I run it, click on break and watch points watch point and then here I can set uh, I can set a variable here and the watch point checks when my the value of my variable is changed. So I type here the variable LV big I see now the value is zero then the suitepix again and then I press F8 and I see um, when the uh, on 19 on 31 on 53 the variable is uh, changed 
from 1 to 0 or from 0 to 1. So let's set the breakpoint again and run this code and again break and watch points and I can set here uh, new breakpoints and we have here methods, functions, forms, exceptions, messages and ABAP statements. So I can uh, set here different statements. In my example I set the select statement. So if I go back to my code I see now on every select statement a breakpoint. And if I press F8, we see the debugger stops on every select statement in my code. Okay, so now let's delete this breakpoint and uh, finish the program. The next, uh, what I want to show is I can use the, this watch point on a message. So for this, I uncommand the message command here on line 26 and I activate my program and we see this is a pop-up, a message, an info message. And if we check this message, we see the, uh, the message class and the number and the type of the message is an information. So with this info, we go back to the code. We set the breakpoint here at the beginning. We run the program. Then we click on break, or we copy the, the message class. Then we go to break and watch points and we create a new uh, breakpoint. Click on message here. We type here the message class. Then the number, the number of my message was one and the type was I for information. Then I click on continue, go back to my code and press F8 and we see the program steps at the message. And if we go on, we see the pop-up. Okay. So, but we can use another another variable to set the wedge uh, and watch point for messages. We use the system variable su message id. And then we go back to the code. And if I press here F8, we see the program stops again on the line where the message is raised. This is also very nice uh, for me. So, okay. And sometimes we have some more debugging uh, breakpoints in our code. And if we press here, control shift and we click on the debugging column, we see my, or we see the whole breakpoints in which uh, program the breakpoints is set we see the line and we see the source code and so on. So this is a nice overview of the set breakpoints. Okay, yes, that uh, was it already. If you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them. Take care and see you on the next video.